The debut of Hololive English is one that is legendary in the VTuber landscape. After the rise of Kiryu Koko, who brought the Japanese and the English speaking audience together, this spawned the green light to a team of five members Mori Calliope, Takanashi Kiara, Nino Mei Inanis, Amelia Watson, and Guar Gura, the latter of whom who would break records for the fastest growing VTuber of all time, breaking 1 million subscribers in seemingly no time. The success of the first Hall Life English group proved to be so successful, having been the introduction to VTubers for many people, so much so that not only was Iris brought into the table, but a second group was also greenlit to debut a year later. The group consisted of Series Fauna, Oru Kromni, Nanashi Mumei, Hagos Bales, and our beautiful astral girl Tsukumo Sana, who I'll be talking about today. As you may know, she has quite the career and one that stands out from the rest, as it's one that showed promise, but times called for a different fate. But I'm getting ahead of myself here, let's look back at what made Sana so special. When Hall Life English Council debuted in August 2021, the fandom was impressed with the personalities of the girls and they're all on their way to a million subscribers each as I speak right now. Sana though was slow to grow. She was always the least followed of the group while she was here, but this was by no means a reflection of her performance. As you see, fans who were suckered into watching Sana after her debut found that she had quite the boastful personality and that she had quite the sense of humor. I didn't touch any grass. <laughs> I touched cake. <laughs> I tapped that cake. Oh yes, it was as soft as a satellite's bottom. How soft is a satellite's bottom? Well, 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 well. Shushing. This derailed really quickly. <laughs> Sana may have streamed the least out of her group, but when she did, she was always fun to watch. Her commentary was engaging, and when she collaborated with other members, it was always a blast. Questions for Crowdy. Which of the following is an antonym of the word wet? Is it A, moist, oh. B, pet, C, very, or D, dry? D. D, dry? You're, you would be correct. Just like, just like your personality. <laughs> <laughs> you mean sense of humor, right? Sana was also a girl who had an interest in astronomy and astrology, which is fitting for someone who was overall themed after space and the galaxy. She was someone who wasn't afraid to speak her mind about things and would always share fun facts with others. Naturally, despite being the least follow Hollow Council member, Sana was able to gather a cult following of her own, as do all the members of Hollow Live, and she called her fans Sana Lights. Things seemed to be going well for our beloved Astro Girl until 2022 arrived. Throughout much of February, Sana went on a hiatus which was caused by a back injury, which prevented her from streaming for a while. She would announce her return to streaming as her recovery would allow. She would go on to be in cover songs and reach 300 subscribers as well, and probably one of the best gifts she's ever given us, her first and only original song to date, Astro Girl, was released in June, and it is just... Little did we know, that song was going to be the peak and beginning of the end. On July 11, 2022, Sana shocked the world with the much-feared graduation announcement with an intent to leave on July 31st. This was ultimately her decision to make, and that she would be making frequent collabs with other members until then, leading up to her graduation ceremony. Sana Lights had previously hoped this was related to the NASA James Webb telescope images. When she did a Twitter space about them, she was poured with tons of love and support from the satellites leading her to say thank you for all your overwhelming support and wishes. I am successfully overwhelmed. With this, Sana went on to do her final collapse. Personally, my favorite is the Power Wash Simulator collapse she did with Kobo, because it ends with a beautiful acoustic track Kobo dedicates to her. The 
In addition, Sana would design the big models for a hollow console, debuting just three weeks before her graduation, and they were absolutely cute. The graduation ceremony proceeded on July 31st, with Sana giving her Sana Lights her precious limiter, which was quite the goosebumps for all those watching, nearly 100,000 in fact, at the peak of her live audience count. Ending with a performance of Astro Girl, the saddest part is Sana leaving the girls behind as they say their goodbyes. That right there just hits me in the head every time I look back at it. In the year that has followed, there's been some references here and there to Sana, and the council girls have stated they do keep in touch with her. In addition, Hollow Council has now become Hollow Promise, with Iris taking Sana's place, and the star in the Promise logo seems to resemble Sana, which is so bittersweet to say the least. We have even gotten a Generation 3 since then, Hollow Avin, with the first ever twin duo to be in Hollow Live. Overall, while the career of Sukumo Sana was short lived, it is one that reminds us that nothing lasts forever. Her brief time with us is a brutal reminder that you've got to appreciate anything or anyone you love while they're here, and just like her song, you are not alone. What do you think of Sukumo Sana? Did you follow her as a Sanalite or did she slip past your radar? I'll be honest here, when I first got into Hollow Life, more Calliope is the girl who got my attention, so I really didn't get to watch Sana that much. It really sucks that the mention of graduation or even death is always the tick that gets people's attention, many of whom might have not even heard of Sana before her graduation. It's common these days, but at the very least, it does remind us that she existed, she was here, and she was quite the entertaining and precious Astro Girl. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.